Hello Pisces. Welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. How are you? I hope that you are doing okay. This is your weekly love reading. I do apologize that I didn't do them last week. I just got overwhelmed with a whole heap of work and energy. Now this is a message from, I'm starting these readings a bit uh, differently this week. Uh, also, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. You can reverse the placements of the characters if characters do indeed come out because they didn't come out with for Scorpio. If you have any Scorpio in your chart, you might want to check that one out. And they're not time specific. So you kind of it's all about divine timing. You'll get these when you when you get them. And if you want to bypass the spiel, the usual spiel and the shuffling, there will be a timestamp in the bottom of the description box. Now, I'm starting each readings this week uh, for the love readings with asking the universe and your soul and spirit for message for Pisces, for, for you Pisces, for your heart, a message for your heart. What do you need to know in relation to your heart this week. And we've pulled out Wolf for you. And Wolf is all about your connection to others, especially those that feel like they're your your pack, your tribe, your family, your people, the people who you are closest with. Now, wolves have that unspoken sort of almost psychic connection with each other. They hunt in packs and they know what each other's doing. So a family might be very important to you this week or just those very close to you, but you're going to be very attuned on a heart level to them and what is going on to the, with them. So that is the message here from this beautiful wolf energy coming through for you guys, Pisces. So let's pull some more cards. Let's see where you are in this. We have B. See if we can pull some people out, some cards out. Okay, gosh. We have four cards here. We have bee, frog, elephant, and horse. And again, you know what? I'm getting this is kind of more a group of people, as we were saying. You know, it's not just one person we're dealing with. We're dealing here with a group of people because this feels like a family or a very close group of friends. Like all these people feel connected. There's a friendship or a very strong connection here with these people. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry, hold all of them up, Pisces. We have Horse, who is kind of like the alpha leader of the group, kind of almost could be like a patriarch parental kind of energy, but definitely an alpha energy. But there's also another very strong energy with the elephant, which feels like actually more of a feminine energy that is also might be the female alpha of the group. So this could be the male alpha with the horse and the female alpha could be the elephant. And then we've got these two other characters here, the frog and the bee. Now they seem quite caught up in themselves. I feel like these two have a very strong connection and then the frog and bee, they could also be children or they're just people that they've got a very different energy. They're a lot smaller than these two, as you can see. So these are like the dominant people of the pack here. Uh, I don't actually feel like there's any animosity between these. I feel like there's a fairly strong connection between these two in terms of ruling the group and control, not controlling the group, but they are the dominant forces of the group and making sure the group is okay. So there's definitely two very strong forces. And then these two are kind of almost caught up, like I said, in themselves. The frog's looking at the bee and the bee's looking at the frog. Uh, but they're kind of just playing with each other. It's just this lovely energy of connection. It's very, very sweet, actually, this connection here between these two people. And, yeah, I just feel like this could even be a romance between two of them or it could just be, you know, siblings as well. There's very much a, one of them's kind of off really trying to work hard at something and one is watching them and going, wow, you're doing an amazing job, but I'm over here because I need to kind of spend some time healing with something. So one person's going through a, a, a lot of healing at the moment. One person's trying really hard to do some working 
with the horse. The horse is very intuitively connected to everybody here. And the elephant is trying to solve issues for everybody else as well. So there's very much a group collective thing going on here, Pisces. So that obviously seems really important to you. Now, I'm not being given that you are any one of these people within this dynamic. It's... um. It's just that those two have more response. Two people have more responsibility, and two people are kind of just doing their thing. But yeah, everybody seems okay in the group, which is important. As I say that, my dog starts howling. <laughs> so we're talking about connections and dogs and wolves, and my dog's howling in the background. So let's pull some more cards for this Pisces because it's very much about your place and your connection and how you're going to feel very connected to these people it feels safe though it feels like a nice group to be around feels very much like a there's a good status quo here for you but we'll we'll pull some more cards queen of swords i think that was the seven of pentacles six of pentacles uh what else do we have for pisces And, you know, the group dynamic doesn't have to necessarily um, be that exact dynamic that I was describing. It's really just the point is it is a group dynamic and with any group there's the there's lots of things happening. So these are the cards that have come out for you. We have the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So... It's interesting here because the Queen of Swords sees very clearly, you know, the path is open for her. She's a very clear mind. Uh, there's very much a case of, you know, she's her head's above all the fears and doubts here. Able to see very clearly. So for you this week, you're going to see very clearly how, the, how give and take and giving and receiving works within this group dynamic. And also you can see very clearly who, where this potentially could lead to conflict and who might be avoiding this. So these are kind of the issues that are coming in, in is that some people within the group can see this very clearly or you can see this very clearly. I feel, Pisces, you're going to actually be the one being the wolf energy, seeing very clearly how the dynamics play out within this group energy and so, yes, it definitely, it could be around money as well. Some people have, uh, there's money being passed and exchanged around this group. Some people are, have got more money than others, more paying for more things. Some people are re reliant on other members of the group for money. But you can see that there is some kind of imbalance here that needs to be addressed, basically. So let's pull a card from the angels. What do you want to say to Pisces, angels? Well, straight up. You got yes. Okay, beautiful yes energy coming through. What else can we get for Pisces? Pull another card out for you, Pisces. So when the yes energy comes out, I'm just being shown it's more about a general en energy of opening the pathway to move forward in a positive direction, a positive fashion. And you're getting a yes from the universe. It might actually, I've just been told, don't pull another card. This is all that Pisces need. That You're getting a yes from the universe. So it's some, a door is going to open, for, something is going to open up for you this week with this beautiful yes energy coming through. It's like a blessing actually. And I feel like it also could be a bit of a surprise energy when I'm tuning into it because you will know it when it happens definitely. And it might be something you have been asking for, but it also, it's got this interesting, I keep getting the word surprise. So it could be a blessing, a surprise blessing coming this week that actually obviously will be related to you but also to this group di group dynamic so it's going to affect everybody but in particular it's coming to you Pisces so what other messages do we have for you and this group dynamic that's coming through 
this week we have two three cards we have leap of faith assurance and illumination And you can see in this assurance card, look, they're all part of the tree, like it's the seasons and they're all part of the same tree. It's I get this as like a family card as well, family tree. So everyone's going through different things. Someone's going through the leap of faith. Perhaps it's a B energy that we were talking about. Another person needs a bit more assurance that they're okay, perhaps frog energy, illumination. Well, that's, you know, looking at the moon, that's more that, wolf energy that we were talking about a message for you as well Pisces in this so there's a little something for everybody in here as you can see I think you're tuning in and understanding who needs assurance and who's actually taking a risk here and offering your support it's all in the back of your mind so you're a really um just looking out for everybody with that wolf energy coming through beautiful energy to come through for you Pisces so let's pull a card, some cards for the outcome, potential outcome and for this potential reality that could be created out of this combination of cards. I think it's just basically that you are kind of riding the wave. It, I don't feel like you need to, it's like you gently steer the ship. It's not like you have to come in and intervene. You're just really connected to everybody. And you just know when perhaps you might have to gently nudge someone that way or gently kind of someone might just need a, a, a phone call, a bit of support. So, yeah, moving, family moving to calmer waters. I feel like the, the group is moving to a better place, but there's a few little thing, issues that just might need to be smoothed out that you're like the intuitive empath of the group that's, that knows what everybody needs. And look at the centre of this. We have love. There's a lot of love um, around all these people. We have the Two of Cups card. Uh, we also have the World and the Six of Wands. So there is definitely some kind of, you know, with every ending there is a new beginning. And I feel like it's this constant cycl cyclical Thing that happens within your group dynamic that things come and go and think come and go come and go come and go and come and go and sometimes there's like a breakthrough that occurs and it feels like there's a breakthrough there's a sense of freedom there's some sort of sense of completion that something has ended a cycle has ended and it's only brought you closer together well could even bring you towards connection as well but there's definitely love here and then with that comes the Six of Wands, which is victory, feeling victorious, feeling uh, like there's some kind of success here. Uh, I feel like, you know, this is also perhaps you rising above because you're the one that's kind of steered the ship in a weird way, whether they understand it or not, because you've intuitively kind of nudged it here and there. It's not like you've been a dominator and dictating and telling people what to do. It's been this beautiful nudging so there's this victory here and and people are going to really understand that and acknowledge that and and um yeah they're going to honor you so yeah beautiful energies pisces very different readings this week but i think it's just because we've got that scorpio full moon coming up it's just some really intense moon energy coming through as we can see with that illumination and being a fellow water sign i think it's affecting the water signs quite a lot so I hope that makes sense, Pisces. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.